Shopify POS Tutorial 2024. In this video, we're going to be talking about POS and we're going to be talking on how you can apply it onto your Shopify in the easiest and most simplest way. Now, POS is point of sales and it's basically on how your transaction is going to be processed from the seller to the merchant. Okay. And when it comes to Shopify, it has a very seamless and fast process on how to do it. And we're going to be going through all of it in great detail. So to start things off, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to Shopify com now over here what we're going to do is we're going to create an account now the account creation process is really simple you're going to click on start free trial now once you click on that it's going to bring you here so it says let's get started which one of these best describes you i could go with i'm just starting or you could go with i'm already selling online or in person then it says are you selling through any other platform i'm going to go with no not any other platform where would you like to sell Obviously, I'm going to go with an online store if I want point of sales. And then it says, what do you plan to sell first? Product I buy or make myself or digital products, drop shipping products, whatever you require. I'm going to go with that and we're going to click on next. Now, once you go through with all of this, it's going to ask your email and password. So you can sign up with your Google, Facebook or Apple or any external email. I'm going to choose the external email option and I'm going to sign up with a temp email. Now, you don't necessarily have to go ahead with a temp email. So I'm going to go with this and now we're going to go ahead and add a password. So once you add a strong password for yourself, you're going to go ahead and click on create Shopify account. Now, once you've gone through with this, what we're going to do from here is we're, we're going to wait for it to load us into our main settings. All right. Now, once you are properly loaded in, we are going to go straight into our dashboard section. And in the dashboard section, you're going to get the main defaults on how your page is going to work. So in the authorized callback section, it's going to take us to the dashboard. And once we are loaded in, we're going to come straight over here. Now over here, the things that we're going to want to do is first of all, get familiarized with your Shopify page. So currently we're on the main dashboard, but in the dashboard, we're going to see, you know, basic steps and processes where it's going to ask us to set up. Now, once you go through and set up, which I do prefer you doing, because without setting up, I wouldn't suggest getting into POS immediately. So set up through all the steps, import your products, import your customers, import orders, customize your online store and whatnot. And once you've gone through it, all of that, that is when your POS comes and your POS can be found right here under the sales channel in point of sale. Now, once you go over to point of sale, here you get three different widgets, staff, location, settings. Now, first of all, here it's a setup point of sale. So it says, where do you want to sell in person? We'll recommend the best hardware for your business. You can change this later. So you could sell at markets, fairs, and pop-ups, or in your own brick and mortar store. It all depends on you. So I'm going to go with market fairs and pop-ups, and I'm going to click on get started. Now, once you click on get started, it's going to bring you here where it says POS pro trial ends in three days. So obviously it's going to give you a trial for the first three days, but after that, you're going to have to choose a plan. We're going to get into the pricing and plans later on. Let's talk about POS right now. Now over here in the POS setup guide, here is what we are going to want to do. So first of all, it says import your products, which is obviously the most important part. You're going to go into the product section. Now you can add your very own products one by one or you can import them by yourself. Now adding products is pretty simple. Simply click on add product, give your product a name. Like let's say I'm gonna call it black hoodie. And once we write that in, we're gonna scroll down where it says media. We're gonna click on upload new. And once you click on upload new, you're gonna choose the hoodie. So let's say I'm gonna go with some, so let's go with this hoodie right here, right? So I'm gonna upload the picture. Obviously make sure that the image size is accordingly. And once you do that, you're gonna click on save. Now, once you click on save, that's gonna save a product in your store. So now you have a product, right? So once we come back to POS, we're gonna see that it's gonna be checklisted. Then it says double check your migration. Now migration is once you've imported your store data, make sure everything is running smoothly. So obviously you do POS when you already have a store or market running up. So you're gonna import that data. So once you've correctly imported all of data, you're gonna get the point of sale app. So the point of sale app is basically gonna be a QR code download link. So I'm gonna click on send download link. So basically it sends a download link to your email where it says download Shopify POS. So once you open this up, it's going to say download point of sale app. I'm going to click on that. And once you click on that, as you can see, it takes us through the installing process of POS. So I'm just going to wait for it to take me to the proper place. And here we are. So we have Shopify and Shopify POS. Now 
over here. You could either download it as your inbox balance. I'm going to go with POS. You could download it on your app store or Google Play. Get it on whatever you want. And it's, as you can see, the fastest and easiest way to start accepting Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and discover right from your smartphone or tablet. All right. So it's pretty easily, easily accessible and it's pretty fun to work with as well. Now, moving on, what we're going to do is we're going to come here. It also tells you to order hardware accessories. Okay. Now, these are really important steps to start off with POS because without these, you won't be able to properly function when it comes to POS. Then we have store settings. Now, in the store settings section, you are going to need to set up a payment provider. Now, a payment provider is also pretty important, and you could set it up through the settings section by coming over here in settings. And once you go in settings, you're going to go to payments. Once you're in payments, you can easily choose a provider for yourself by clicking over here. And you can simply go ahead and first of all, choose the person that is supported in your country. So let's say we have Visa, MasterCard, American Express and integration UZ pay. So you can click on this, install it and integrate your payment procedures pretty easily. So once your payment is done, you're going to be ready to sell in person and everything should be good to go from now to get more into the technicalities of POS you're going to come to the staff section. So the staff is obviously the people you're going to be working with on POS. So you can add staff pretty simply by clicking on add staff over here and you can add them through various methods. You could either add them by exporting a Excel file or you can add them by adding their details. Okay. So first name, last name, email, phone, POS role, they could be associate. You could give them full permissions or limited permissions and you have pin. So a staff needs a unique four to six digit pin to access the point of sale app. So you're going to create a pin for them and each pin is going to be discrete for every other person. And obviously you're creating these pins. So you're going to want to make sure to give them precisely. You can also generate random pins, which is pretty incredible. And once you do all of that, you're going to click on save. So now you're actually going to have staff in your environment and they're all going to appear over here and you can work with them on your POS and moving on, you have locations. Locations can be added pretty simply as well. So in the location section, you're obviously going to want to upgrade your plan because it doesn't work on the pro plan. You're going to need the upper plan and with different, you know, plans, you can create different locations for yourself. So obviously, as you can see over here, shop location, we have Pakistan over here and then you have different subscriptions, order values, how many orders you've created, how much order value you have cross sales discounts, returns, gross profit, gross margin, and total sales. Pretty simple, right? Then we have settings. Now here you can mess around with the actual settings of your POS. So you could change things like language, subscriptions, POS apps, remotely manage different things about your POS in a very simple and discreet way. So pretty simple and pretty forward and basic stuff. Now, that's the main idea of Shopify POS and how you are going to be starting off with it and using it for yourself. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me and I'll be seeing all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.